Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Fallout 4 where we're trying to complete the entire game without using any guns, any projectile weapons whatsoever. Last time we ended up clearing Red Rocket and uh, got the fusion core underneath Red Rocket and uh, well, let's see if we can't find uh, any friendly people over there in the town of Concord. So uh, yeah, up there is the town of Concord and but it seems we're gonna have to be dealing with a bit of a problem first because I think there's two, yeah, two bloodbug hatchlings on that Brahmin corpse and I don't know if I'm actually strong enough to take those out. Slowly trying to get closer. Oh God. Oh, I'm definitely not, oh, ow. Ooh, this is, this is a problem. Dogmeat, get him! Come on, 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 come on. I don't want to have these things coming back now. Oh, fuck. Where did they go? That's not a good sign. Why did they run away? Ooh, they did get me quite heavily there. Let's go. And whack. Jesus Christ, these things are fast! There we go. Okay, that's one. Where is the other one? Where is the other one? Took a bit of food, but where is that other blood bug? Well, seems like can't really deal with that. So let's just keep heading into the into the town then. See what I'm still in caution, by the way. So there's still something hunting for me. But yeah, let's take a look around in a few of the houses, because I think there's quite a bit of good loot around here. Ooh, a Nuka Cola Quantum, that is good. That is very good indeed. And upstairs we have some I'm bobby pins, but another safe I can't really open up. There is, however, this fancy red bandana, and I can actually give that to, uh, to dog meat. So let's trade up. There we go, look at that, lovely red bandana on dog meat, dog meat. Get, get, get out of the way please, thank you. Okay, any sign of that blood bug in the meantime? Doesn't seem like it, so let's just... Okay, Concord, there we go. That is good, I kinda, kinda spooked me there with the, with the pop-up. So yeah, Concord, you can hear the gunfire already. Seems like the raiders are already heading towards the Museum of Freedom. Which is fine by me, because I need to get as close as possible without really disturbing any of them. I know Preston Garvey can actually handle this quite well on his own. So he's the guy fighting upstairs with the laser musket. Oh, what, what the hell fell down from... Wait, that came from over there on the left. Oh, hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you, dog meat. Oh, let's let's just get... Let's just get behind the... Ooh, okay. I can use the radar a bit. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Wow, okay. Didn't expect that, be, that to be going that fast. Let's try that again. So next attempt at the blood bugs. I think I might actually try a Molotov this time. Throw. I think that actually got them down immediately. Because yeah, throwables are really, really powerful at the first few levels. So yeah. Let's start using those a bit more, because yeah, especially against the Raiders, I might have to use a few throwables in this first encounter. Because yeah, very hard mode, I kind of forgot about that, but yeah, very hard mode, I'm gonna have to be careful. I'm just gonna loot the house again and uh, see you guys at the Raiders. Okay, so I kind of slept on a mattress over there just to get, <laughs> just to get a bit of an autosave in there, which I don't really need to do, but yeah, straight into a flipping rat storm in Concord. That is probably the worst luck you can have. So let's just slowly make our way over there. And I think I might actually want to swap over to grenades. I know there's one raider on the left that has... Oh, wait, you're dead. Switchblade. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, he's the, he's the melee guy. 
There we go. Let's just murder his ass. Okay, now. Not firing at me, so let's just... That was straight on target. Okay, that's one kill. Swap over to fragmentation grenades. Bit of an arc. Didn't get anybody there. There we go. Yeah, that, I think that killed one of them and now I'm gonna rush this guy. Ooh, straight in the face. Straight in the face. That was lovely. Okay. So usually I would want to see... Yeah, Preston Garvey is up there. He's telling us to go inside quickly, but we leveled up. Now with the Rat Storm, this is actually going to be a bit more... Well, differently than I would do this, because I want to actually loot all the corpses, but I don't really have the time to start looting all the corpses. Wait, I killed one over here with the Molotov, right? So yeah, when Freedom Calls started... Oh god, where the hell... Okay, so this guy, pool cue. Because they do carry a bit of melee weapons. A nice bit of supplies, but yeah, let's check out the weapons we just collected, because I think we got the switchblade and the uh, pool cue. So right now, we have the tire iron at 20 damage and medium speed, security baton at 18 damage and medium speed, switchblade at 13, but fast speed, and then the pool cue, who's at 22, but slow speed. So yeah, um, I'm gonna favorite all of those, but I think I'm gonna stick with the tire iron for now, at least. Okay, so the storm is leaving, which is good, so it's subsiding. Um, the other thing I want to do before we head in first, of course, is to level up. So level 3, we're almost at level 4 actually because we completed out of time. But I think we're just going to go with the big leaks for now. So swing for defenses, do 20% more melee weapon damage. It's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's a no-brainer. So let's just go for that. There we go. So every weapon is now 20% stronger. Let me actually show you that. So now the tire iron has gone from 20 to 24 immediately, which is very, very nice. But first... Uh, I do want to check out a bit of armor on these guys. I know I've shot them to bits, well, blow them to bits. But, uh, yeah, I do want to be careful. There's a few things, well, nice crafting materials in this uh, store over here, but we're going to be going through those, ooh, duct tape, really quickly. I mean, Preston urges you to go inside of uh, the museum immediately, but... Um, Yeah, I love these things. So Pulowski nuclear protection on a budget. So yeah, you could just close yourself in here, put in some coins, and then you're protected from nuclear annihilation, which of course didn't work at all. Um, so Preston urges you to go inside as quickly as possible, but you're not forced to do that. And I think there's one more house, yeah, over here that I really want to check out, because there might be a few interesting things around here. So just gonna check, because usually... Ooh, what the? Why are there... Frag mines? I might want to get those. So yeah, a dead raider with uh, what could possibly be your first sniper rifle. So the pipe bolt action sniper rifle can't really do anything with that. But then I would swear there was a house in Concord that had a baseball bat. Let's just quickly go and get those mines first. Seems like everybody's dead over there, which is weird. Because usually this campsite is... Well, limited to a random event, so it could be a trader, so that's why I wanted to go here first. So there's literally a mine on the campfire, which is... Re that is horrible. So it just seems to be two, but I know there's more than one. I was, I was afraid I was going to have to, uh, well, activate the cooking station before anything else. So then, this one, I thought there were three. Oh no, now I don't trust anything anymore. I thought Fats told me there were three. Let's... Okay, let's go check out the dead people. Doesn't seem to be any mines anymore. Ooh, it's actually not that bad. And this guy, more bottle caps. Well, thank you for that. Now the wooden crate is empty, apparently. And then two Nuka-Colas. And more... First aid. That's actually not that bad of a drop. 
So let's head back. There's actually an indoor location here. I actually never, never actually checked this one. What's in here? Oh, well, this is actually a pretty big building. Doesn't seem like I can access much. Seems like it's completely and utterly blown to hell. But yeah, I, I mean, if you had power armor with a jetpack, you might get up here, but oh wait, I can do this. So I can get into, ooh, the staircase. So there's a door to get on top of the roof, but I think, yeah, there's a few skeletons around here. What? Oh, look at this. So yeah, this is clearly one guy trying to take out the other guy on the safe. Can't really open the safe right now. What's that? It's like a... Oh no, that's the hinge of the door. That's the hinge of the door. Oh, look, the kitty, the kitty painting. So, for, aside from this very interesting scene over here, apparently two people were fighting over uh, a, the contents of a safe, I presume. There's not much here, but I think... Because I saw something on the lower floor. Yeah, there's a couple of skeletons over there. And I think I can just easily drop down on that from here. There's nothing here, so that's just... There we go. A lady on top of a duffel bag. And that gives us another Molotov cocktail, which is good. The reason I'm preparing this much is not so much but for uh, the raiders inside of the building. It's more for what comes after that. A bit of psycho. So, uh, yeah, that's why I'm exploring Concord a bit further. Ouch. But uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's much more in here. So yeah, I'm a very stubborn man. I, I realized, I, I remembered kind of that there was supposed to be a baseball bat around here. So yeah, this is again, there's Red Rocket over there. So the first house we went in and took our autosave. If you look behind the door you come into, there's a flipping baseball bat right here. Indeed. So let's open that back up and use that baseball bat to uh, head into the Museum of Freedom. Because yeah, the baseball bat is 32 damage, so that's uh, a lot more than what I'm using right now. So that's 30% more than the tire iron, which is at 24. It is slow, but I'm definitely gonna equip that. There we go, baseball bat, and let's get that bad boy over here. Because this is gonna be awesome. And since we now got uh, a bit of armor as well, I got a leather, ooh, leather left arm over there. So a leather left and right leg back in the vault jumpsuit and then equipped that uh, left arm as well. There we go. We're a bit more geared up than we were before. So let's head into the Museum of Freedom and get cracking into some raiders. I'm going to have to go into stealth. I can pick up the laser musket over here. Um, that, that guy had a short double barrel shotgun. Can't use all that uh, anyway. But I can sell everything, of course. More of that. I'm just going to leave the Minuteman outfit over there. So let's head inside. So inside, the Raiders are in a heavy firefight with the Minuteman. Ooh, I'm just going to go in there. Because uh, I can't do anything against those guys up there. And I don't think there are any enemies in this side of the area. So yeah. The Museum of Freedom, remembering the Civil War and everything like that, so the revolution. Let's just pass through here, because I don't think there are any enemies in these first few rooms. Still in caution. That's gonna disappear in a second. And I think... Yeah, okay, so now we need to be careful. Because from now on, there's more enemies nearby. So it doesn't seem like caution is going away anywhere. So I think there's one guy on the left in that room. Since I want to be actually just... Where is he? Where did he go? Ah, um, did, did you? No, 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 no. Go. Yeah, no, no. How can... Wait, unlock gate? How is Dogmeat going to unlock the gate? Okay, just follow. And now... No, no, no. It's not following. Oh, Get over yeah. here. Get over here, boy. And then, oh, oh. Come on. No, no, no. Follow me. No, no. Stay. Where's the stay option? Okay, there's a, there is no stay option. So that's just. I hope he's gonna stay over there. I know there's a few raiders up top, but they're not gonna see me. I'm more worried about the one guy down here. I think he's. 
in uh, here. Yep, yeah, there he goes. <laughs> Goodbye, sweet prince. Okay, so now, okay. I, I'm guessing that's yeah. There goes dog meat. Ooh, uh, while we're here, I think dog meat is taking care of a few of the raiders. Okay, he he actually is. God damn it, dog meat. Dog meat is actually killing raiders. I don't want him to do that. Get back here. I took an upper skull. Oh, another switch plate. Don't really need that. Ooh, I'm not going to be able to get that guy. Aside from maybe... Molotov. Yeah, goodbye. There he goes. And I got an idiot savant prompt over there. So that's the guy that dog meat killed. And I'm now detected, probably by yeah, Preston Garvey's over there. Um, did any of the guy upstairs chop to up down? No, okay. So let's just loot the area for now, because we're kind of in the clear. So give me a second. So first things first, let's open up this computer terminal to get us, uh, ourselves another fusion core. Yes. Yeah, there we go. That was pretty easily done. Okay, let's just yeah unlock the gate, please. There we go. So that opens that up and then we can get the fusion core in here which is going to be handy in a second okay that seems to be all of it so let's head in here and onto the next area there we go so i know there's two guys in the next room oh god did he see me yeah there's one guy coming over here is the dog? Yeah, the dog just started. Mess. Oh god. I think. Oh god. Get, get up. Oh wow. Yeah, I mean, I mean dog meat's got this. <laughs> um, I don't really need to do anything for now. Leather right arm, I I think I don't have that yet. Yes, indeed. There we go. Leather right arm. I'm gonna collect a bit of a, a complete armor set in here, so that's good. We could really read all these things, but yeah, so yeah, commemorate the many sacrifices of the brave men and women of the United States Armed Forces. But yeah, we're not here for that. But they, they had some pretty nifty power armor, though. I do want to get one of those, one set of those anytime soon. What off? And then moving forward, I kind of have a plan for what I want to do. Because we got a few of those fragmentation mines. And they are going to come out of that room. So if I just go into here, fragmentation mine. And then just put one over there. Because I think that one is going to come over there. You know, going to open up the door. Hello. Oh, come on. Come on, you heard that, right? Hello? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. There he goes. Oh, God. That's not good. Go get him, dog meat. There we go. Okay, that was good teamwork. Is there another one? No. Doesn't seem to be anybody else here. That actually went pretty smoothly. I thought I was going to have a bit more trouble with that. But uh, thanks to dog meat, we kind of got out of that. Pretty okay, so let's loot the upper area here and then we'll go uh, inside with Preston Garvey. Okay, yeah, that seems to be it. So let's head inside and meet Preston Garvey. So let's put the baseball bat away and let's head in here. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Hmm, the Minuteman. Well, I'm glad to help. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. You seem to be doing quite all right with that fancy laser musket of yours, but um, um, we have our own problems. But who are these who people? Who are these people? Just folks looking for a new home, a fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. So, uh, yeah, ghouls, um, it's a cruel weather. That sounds rough. Sounds rough. 
Maybe. Thanks. It's good to meet someone who nope. really cares. Well, Bob is kind of gullible. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Uh, okay, is. tell me then. Let's hear it. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. There go the subtitles. Well, Looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. Ooh, power armor. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Sturgis, tell him. Please bonus. tell him. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrate. Ooh, we Take can't that. do that. Those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Yeah, no, I don't think, because we, we can't use a minigun. Yeah, Bob doesn't even know what a minigun is, because that's actually a question I can. So what's a minigun? I can use the minigun like a rifle? Don't see why not. It'll have a manual trigger. Just aim it at the bad guys and do the old spray and pray. No, no, no. Bob now, doesn't know how to handle armor. a minigun. It's out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. Uh, well... Um, we already have that, but I'll help. I'll help if I can. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Maybe it is. So, uh, yeah, thank you, Preston Garvey. Um, before we go any further, there's a few very interesting things in this room as well. So, you can get the Robco Fun, which just has the Atomic Command holotape game. Then at the end of the room, there's of course the perception bubblehead. So perception increased by one only through observation. Will you perceive weakness? Yeah, it's a bit a bit too highly uh, perceived uh, at that point for by your Bob because he doesn't know. Yeah, he doesn't know fancy quotes like that. And then yeah, everything else I think is fine. I don't know if there's anything on this terminal actually. Oh, I could use this terminal to unlock the security gate. That's blocking the fusion core from here as well. I think that's that security gate. So when the rest of the terminal, well, explains a bit more about what happened to the museum before the bombs fell, because the museum was actually doing rather badly. So yeah, cancelled exhibitions, people messing with the, the dolls, etc. And then of course the end of the museum itself before the bombs even fell. This is Megan Hayes, I'm a tour guide here at the Concord Museum of Freedom. I am so scared when everyone saw the flashes they left, even Mr. Nash, he just ran away and left me here, jerk. And then one of those army helicopter things crashed onto the roof, so that's where we're gonna get our power armor in a second. I broke the lock on the curator's desk and took the gun. I'm going to hide in one of the rooms for a few days until things calm down. If somebody reads this, please come find me. But if you try to hurt me, I swear I'll shoot you. So yeah, the sad ending of, of course, the uh, museum and the rest of the world, because that's when the bombs fell. Okay, so that's that. Let's head outside and see if we can't do anything with this power armor, because I'm actually scared to hell about what's going to come next. So, next up, the crashed Verti Bird on the roof. I'm um, just gonna look around here for a second because there is, yeah, the log of SSG Michael Daly. So let's play that and let's listen to what happened with the soldiers and the vertebrate. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause? EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day later. The day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldiering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck, and God bless America. Or what's left of it.
So yeah, Mike Daly, the sole survivor of this crashed 30 bird. Maybe we can hear something more about him when we find that apartment at Boy Boylston Street. But uh, yeah, we have bigger fish to fry first. So let's put the fusion core in the power armor. And uh, yeah, Bob, let's enter this thing. Because he has, we finally have our first bit, well finally, it's actually pretty quickly that you get this, uh, it's actually really cool that in Fallout 4 you get this armor this quickly. So I need to stay hidden, although I think that might not be possible for now. So let's take the Vertibird minigun, I'm just taking it, not equipping it, although I think I just equipped it. Yeah, so let's go back to the... Ooh, yeah, there's a raider on the roof over there. So yeah, Preston, if you could kill that guy that... Oh, okay, th thank you. Thank you, thank you. That was that was actually very, very nicely done of you. I'm just gonna get all this. Take the flip light there. Ooh, duct tape. Always take duct tape. Then I think... Yeah, let's just go down. There we go. And then I'm just gonna head towards the end here, just whacking a few guys on the way. They're just not paying attention, are they? Let's, let's just kill Gristle. No, no, no. Fuck off, and I think I need to just go over here. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. I'm just not gonna look at that, because that's gonna be... Yep, there's, there's, there's a death claw over there. Um, so... That's one. Ooh, this is not gonna go well. Oh yeah, I'm just I'm gonna have to leave, I'm just gonna have to leave, just gonna have to go, 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 go inside, go inside, okay. I don't think this thing can go inside. Um, I have a few grenades, and I can, I think my, oh, yeah, he can definitely hit me as well. Um, how am I gonna do this? Yeah, the raiders are still there. Oh god. So they definitely... Uh, hit the... Can I actually hit him? Yeah, I'm actually hitting it, hitting him. Oh god, yeah, the Raiders are doing their job as well. In the face. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna... Just gonna... Okay, I'm good on my limbs, but... So I think it's time for our first stim back here. Yeah, no, just use... There we go. It's still on very hard, so I'm not healing immediately. Oh, this thing is just tearing those raiders apart. And dog meat is out of commission. Can I hit him? No. Yeah, just hit him. Oh, why am I outside? Why am I outside? Why am I outside? Can I go? Can I go back inside? Oh god. Boop! That's not... Do I have a critical? I don't have one yet. I'm just gonna get my AP back and we're gonna rinse and repeat. I'm just gonna throw... Yeah, Molotov. Yeah, he just killed that raider. <laughs> and Preston is doing his damnedest. I still have... Wait. I still have two fragmentation grenades, so... Ooh, I do need to be careful. Yeah, just... Just come over here. Where is he? Where did he go? He's over there for some reason. Um, I think there might be a few more radius he's after. Hey, big, dumb. Where did he go? Oh crap, I can't finish this quest without the death claw being dead. Where is he? Is he just... Oh god, I just lost him completely. I think he's... Oh yeah, hi. He's right here. Doesn't he see me? Oh, if I can... Ooh! Come on! Oh, that's not gonna be enough! Cancel, 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 cancel! Oh, where am I? I don't have... I don't have any action points. Yeah, there's a problem. There's a problem! Oh, I can't go back in front of the... Oh, God. Uh, you! You! Oh! He lost his head. Still have a bit of action point. Nope. Oh, I got stabbed. Ow. 
Okay, I think I just lost, yeah, I lost one arm of my power armor. This is not good. This is not good at all. Um, stand back. Ooh, this is not, good, not a good idea. Wait, where are the mines? Oh, I think I killed a raider. What the hell are you doing here? Where's the ow? Ow, 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 ow. This is not go going great. I destroyed half of my power armor already. Ah, step back it up again. Great. Wait, is that? Yeah, that's the that's the death claw, isn't it? Yeah, there he goes. He's fighting. He's almost dead. Do I just finish this off heroically? Come on. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go for it! I can't... <laughs> okay! I killed him by jumping on his head! <laughs> okay, that was awesome, but we're still not out of this, because... Yeah, there's a few angry raiders still here. That was awesome. Uh, thank you for all that. I just killed a flipping raider by just jumping on his head. Uh, raider. A flipping deathclaw by jumping on his head. Um, okay, dog me just... Yeah, I just got out of that. We still need to kill... A few raiders. I don't know if I have that already. This guy definitely died. He was vaporized. Yeah, this one was the guy that lost his head. When Preston Garvey came around, he's a, he's a really good guy. Hello! Goodbye. Yep, goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, clear Concord of Hostiles. Done. That was uh, that was actually pretty good. I just killed a frick big death claw. Okay, uh, still no leather chest piece, by the way. Damaged and destroyed power armor piece can be repaired. Yeah, we know that. I think I killed Gristle over here somewhere. I think... Is this Gristle? Yeah. So he has the Corvega storage key, which we might do. Comfort grip. Well, why not? Oh, well, it didn't look like it. So let's go back inside and have a little chat with Preston Garvey. Take it easy, mama. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. So hello, Preston. Um, Bio Bob is now in power armor, and he that flippin' loves it. A pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you're on our side. Did you see that? I jumped on the head of a death claw, and it died. Everyone okay? Right, it's gonna be okay now. Yeah, for a while anyway. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did, and we owe you our lives. So here, it ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. Money, is that the same as souls? Because Bob might not know what bottle caps are. He knows what souls are. You stick them in the lady at fire Filing Shrine and you get leveled up. But what are bottle caps? But yeah, I'll take, I'll take it. take what I can get. <laughs> Spoken like a true merc. Well, if you ever feel like fighting for something other than yourself, you should meet up with us in Sanctuary. I could use someone like you. Someone who can get things done. He's always mad when you take the I'll take it option, because even though, regardless of what you say before that, he's always mad when you say, I'll take what I can get, which is not that bad, but yeah. All right, Garvey. I'm in. So yeah, and then Mama Murphy tells us to go to What's Diamond that? City, because our son sure. might be there. Look, kid, I'm tired. So, with that done, let's not continue listening to what they have to say. Um, we have a lot of stuff to do, because we got a few nice weapons, and we're gonna head back to Sanctuary and see what we can do with all that. So, give me a second. So, back at Sanctuary, uh, we're gonna have to take a look at our weapon workbench, and we're gonna leave the power armor over here, right next to the station, because we need, well, we need to do a bit of work, because we kind of lost an arm and a leg, so let's just... Uh, Drop it off right here. So looking at the power armor, uh, let's equip the, well, repair and equip the arm again and repair and equip the leg again. So that's, yeah, we did take a lot of damage. How, what do you mean I can't repair? I need circuitry to repair the torso. Um, Cause yeah, the, the, 
the armor on these things, the health on these things isn't actually that good. Uh, for that reason, I'm, go I'm not going to use the power armor just yet. I think we can do without for now. Um, especially since we lack a few of the components to even completely fix it again. But yeah, for now we're going to leave it at that. Um, I could actually just... I'm going to take the fusion core because... It does happen that NPCs try to take your armor. Um, but yeah, let's check out the weapons. So let's see what I can do, what we can do here. So the tire iron, we can put that up to bladed. I think we saw that in the previous episode already. And that requires blacksmith rank 2. We haven't taken... Well, before we do that, actually, I still need to flipping level up. So yeah, um, so we took big leaks. We can't put that any further until level 7. We could take armorer. We could take blacksmith, which is probably what I'm gonna take. Uh, there's a few other perks I really want to have. But since we're limited to what we can do right now. So Blitz is interesting. It increases the vat's melee distance significantly. I've never taken this perk before, so I don't know how much of a difference this will make, but it might be rather handy. But you know that? You know what? I'm just gonna take blacksmith first, since we're just looking at our melee weapons at the moment. Let's see what we can do with that. And we'll get, uh, get cracking in a second. So there we go. The switch blade. Let's check that out first. We can put that to a serrated blade with a bit of adhesive fiberglass oil and steel that goes ooh, it actually does almost doubles the damage let's go with that so that's an upgrade then the security baton i think yeah it's electrified and stun pack which just adds energy damage and we need science and blacksmith two for both of those so yeah not an option then the pool cue so from 26 to 30 with barbed which is not that great or sharp yeah no the baseball bat is almost better just without boost so yeah i'm not going to use a pool cue then we have knuckles but knuckles i think are unarmed so i don't really have yeah i'm not going to be able to well i can put some nice things on here but that's not going to help me out all that much but then the baseball bat i think i've heard talk about the material yeah aluminum that just puts six extra damage on it so yeah i mean we need to go for aluminum aluminium although yeah so the material the mold is called aluminium and then the material is called aluminum i'm confused but yeah let's just make that and then we can upgrade it up to, so from 38 to 44 with barbed, spiked, sharp, and chain wrapped. Okay, chain wrapped does add, and we barely need to use anything for that. One adhesive and one steel from 38 to 55. Or we go with sharp and that gets bleed damage. Yeah, it's nine points better when we go for chain wrapped, so... Yeah, what the hell? Heated coil adds energy damage. And rockets? Spiked rockets? Holy, I need science. Oh, I might have fucked up by not taking that much intelligence. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna deal with that when we get there. Because now we just need to look at blacksmith. So chain wrapped. There we go. I think that's gonna be our uh, weapon of choice. Because that looks amazing. And then, yeah, every gun I'm going to store for now, because I don't think we're going to get any, yeah, any merchant really soon. Because otherwise I would sell the guns to them. Are they, ooh, is Preston already here? Yeah, they're arriving at the moment. So let's just dump a few of my weapons and we'll talk to Preston then. Mama Murphy is already hammering away at this thing over here, which is weird. Um... Yeah, we're going to talk to Preston in a second. What I want to do is put away my guns. So I'm going to put my guns, all of my big guns, in this little toolbox. I kind of like that idea. Yeah, so I put in pretty much everything I won't be using. Especially also the melee weapons I won't be using. Let's drop all our junk in here for now as well. And maybe cook a bit. Deathclaw steak. So one agility for one hour and 185 health that gives back. That is actually something nice. 
So even made myself my very own first Molotov cocktail, but yeah, hello Preston. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Well, it already is my home, so yeah, we lived here. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... Well, yeah, you know, the war with the big booms and everything. Yeah, we, we, we lived here with my wife. Um, did I tell you she got shot in the head? Forget I said anything. I don't want to talk about it. No worries. We've all got our past to deal with. Anyway, I am glad you're here. Uh, glad, glad to be here as well. That's a, a bit of silence over there. Um, Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? Of course we can. So this is the start of a very long and tedious series of uh, side quests that Preston is going to give us. Well, we can get the uh, experience out of it anyway. So uh, yeah, thank you. Glad to help. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, okay. People like you. By the way, we got idiot savant on a quest finish, which means I get three times the amount of wow quest experience. Look at that bar going. Um, it still is going. Yep, still is going. I might actually level up twice from that. Okay, I just leveled up twice from that. Okay, I think Idiot Savant is a bit broken. Because my bar is still going up. Yeah, that was two and a half levels I just... Okay, I think I chose the right perk. I'm not so mad about my decision to not go with a lot of intelligence there. I just went from level 4 to level 6.5 immediately. But that also means I can pick two more perks, which kind of makes this easy. Because level 6, that means I can take, of course, what we wanted to take before was Blitz. And then I want to go for Demolitions Expert as well. So your explosives do 25% more damage and you can craft explosives at any chemistry station. That's going to be limited to the baseball grenade, but it's going to be something to start with. So there we go. So with that done, I'm going to get a bit more experience by some, uh, well, some stupid quests by Sturgis. So give me a second and I'll do that really quickly. So Idiot Savant also works when I'm actually crafting things, which is uh, funny. Uh, there we go. So yeah, I kind of forgot that I need to do uh, fix the food situation in Sanctuary before I can do anything else. I fixed up a few beds, I've caused a few more, uh, I, I've created a few more defenses, and I've, uh, well, created a few water purifiers over there, so we have clean water. But food is a bit of an issue, because I don't have any food items on me that I can plant, so we're going to have to go to Ten Pines Bluff next time to do that. But for, before we do that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Fallout 4 No Guns with Bayou Bob, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, well, see you guys next time. Goodbye.